Hey guys, Sam here from Core Electronics and today we're going to be taking a look at getting started with the Particle IDE. Now IDE, you might ask, it stands for Integrated Development Environment and it's you know a place where you can write code uh, you know, for whatever platform you're using. So you've got the Arduino IDE, Particle IDE, plenty of other IDEs out there. But we're going to look at getting started with your Particle Boards and the Particle IDE. So if you're not familiar with what the Particle brand is, take a look at some of our other tutorials which cover getting started with you know, the different Particle Boards. I've got the Photon here, the Wi-Fi enabled board. Uh, you've also got the Electron which is a 3G cellular enabled board. But today we're just going to look at you know, how we can write code, uh, use the libraries and up, get that uploaded to our boards. So uh, the first thing we want to do is, if you haven't already, go to Particle.io and make a new account. Um, and you use that for claiming your devices, using the IDE, um, you know, etc. But once you've done that, go to build.particle.io. And this is the, uh, the IDE section of the website. And it's going to load up. Um, so log in if you haven't already. And so we're going to take a look at, um, you know, the main components of the IDE. So sort of broken up into three sections. You've got... Um, got this you know this section here which is where um, you write your code you you know you view it you edit it you've got uh, compilation messages that will come up you've got this little message section down here um, and then you've got got the menu area so this is where um, you know the different kind of options and settings for whatever tab you're on will be displayed so I can uh, make a new app I can look at existing apps that I've made um, and that's in the code tab now this third section here is the uh, the menu uh, tab, panel, whatever you like to call it, um, and it just controls what's been displayed in this panel here. So next up we've got the libraries section. Uh, so particle libraries are community driven, so people can upload their own libraries and they'll be uh, put on to the particle IDE here, and you can actually see how many people are using them to get a bit of an idea of whether they're popular, whether they're going to work, whether they're tested or not, so you're not just you know, going completely blind. Um, and the awesome thing is, they've made it so easy to get started. If you've ever used Arduino, you're going to feel right at home here because it's based around the same software abstraction called wiring. So you'll notice that you know you've got the very familiar void setup, um, void loop, all here, and that's because that's how wiring works. It's really easy to get started. And if you've never used anything before, uh, you'll find it, you know, just as easy to get started. Um, so. That's the library, so we can go in, say we wanted to add a NeoPixel library, fine, and it's gonna tell us um, you know, whether the examples are compatible with the type of board we're using, whether they work. So we've got, yeah, Core, that which is an older kind of board. Uh, the P1, which is actually the module here, you can get that by itself to make your own boards. The Photon and the Electron, they're all compatible with the examples, they'll work straight out of the box. So that's fantastic, now we can use it in the example, we can modify it however we want. Um, so that's the library section. You've got the docs, which will take you to the reference um, section. So I think it's docs.particle.io. And that's where you know, you've got your data sheets, you've got information about the firmware, the boards, um, cloud functions, all that kind of thing, the information section. Next up, we've got devices. So this is where you can view and monitor your different devices. So I've got you know, a few photons, a couple of electrons, I like to, uh, to, you know, to give them Australian names, it just helps me identify which one they are. And that star is which one you're targeting with your code. So actually none of my photons are offline, uh, online, sorry, at the moment. So if I tried to upload code to them, I'd get an error message, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, you can, you know, you can view the device ID um, and the firmware version that it's on here. Now we've got the console. So we've covered the console in a previous tutorial. Check out our um, getting started with the particle cloud, go into it in a bit more depth there. And then we've got settings, which is you know your account settings, your access tokens. You can reset that, change your password, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's um, let's go ahead and write a program. I've got my photon board here, and we're going to write the Hello World of Electronics, which is a Blink program. So there's an onboard LED here, D7. You can see that, yeah. Um, and we're just going to write a program that turns it on, waits for half a second, turns it off, waits for half a second. So it's just going to be blinking. So. Let's uh, go ahead and plug it in with our micro USB cable. Now, even though I'm connecting it to uh, to the oh, to the computer uh, with the USB cable, like you would an Arduino, we're actually we're actually going to go into uh, 
programming it uh, over the air. So we're going to send our code uh, via our Wi-Fi connection onto the board. So I've actually already got this code uh, preloaded onto it, as you can see. But we'll go through, you know, writing it and um, flushing it from scratch. So I've created an example here called Blink Example Demo. Um, so it's really simple. Um, you know, we're just declaring the pin D7 as an output, then uh, setting that pin high for um, waiting for a second, then setting it low, then waiting for a second, and we're looping that in our main loop there. Now, if we want to upload this, uh, you've got three little buttons up the top here. You've got save, which saves your code that you're working on. Funny that. Uh, you've got verify, which is going to try and compile your code. Now, what this means is it takes the really easy to read um, C++ code here, which is, you know, uh, the particle ID is based around C++ with the wiring abstraction, and it compiles it. It turns it into uh, a type of code that's a lot easier for our little computer brain in here to understand. And it pretty much checks that your syntax is, you know, correct, you're not using invalid functions. So if we go verify, you can see down the bottom here it's compiling and it's verified. And that means there were no errors. It might, you know, there still might, you know, not work as intended, but at least, you know, it's a valid, valid code. So if we delete this semicolon here and try and verify it, it's going to um, attempt to do it and then let us know there's an error. So, you know, so error, you know, it expected that semicolon here. So we'll go ahead and add that in and re-verify it and it'll be all good. Now the third button we've got here, yep, code verified, great work. The third button here is flash. And this is where we obviously flash that code to the photon board. Now it's important to note that flash also compiles it. So you don't have to do those separately. You can just click verify if you want to just check your code's good before uploading um, or you can flash it and do it all in one. So we go, we want to make sure we've got our device targeted. So, well, oh, didn't have the right one. It would have let me know there's an error. So I'm going to target Photon Derek because I can see that that's online. And I'm going to go back to our code tab. We don't really need to. Um, I'm going to go flash. And now this is going to go through and compile it. And in a minute, you'll see the board reset. There we go. So it's uh, going through the reset process there, connecting to the cloud here, and it's running the code, which is awesome. Now, that's the photon, and it's flashing it over the air uh, via Wi-Fi. You can flash it um, locally, so using the USB cable over USB or serial, um, using the command line interface. We go into that in the Getting Started with Electron tutorial, so check that out. Um, but if I do go, you know, I select the Electron here and go flash, it's going to bring up this message here, letting you know that you're trying to flash to an Electron. It's going to use up some of that precious data because it's a 3G board. Do you want to go ahead, essentially? Um, which is really handy in case you know you don't want to accidentally chew through that data not realizing. You can flash it over the air with the Electron, but generally it's better just to do it via serial. So check that tutorial out if you're interested in that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the idea in a nutshell. We've just written our first program, created an application. Um, it's on our board now. And that's you know all the features of the idea. It's really simple and really intuitive, but it's also really powerful. It's got a great user interface, really sleek design. It fits in well with the particle brand. So go on there, build.particle.io. Check it out for yourself. Get some projects going with either the particle or the electron boards. Um, and yeah, check out some of our other tutorials for uh, getting started with different technologies and expansions and things like that. And uh, yeah, that's all for now, guys. Have a great day. See ya. Thank you.